Corporates. With that, we move on to the first corporate on our show today. The Century Ply stock nearly halved in this year. Could things get worse given the tight liquidity conditions in the real estate sector? We ask Sanjay Agarwal, the MD and CEO of the company who joins in. Thanks a lot, Mr. Agarwal, for joining in. Exactly the question that I'd like to pose to you. 46% down on the stock from the start of this year. Could things really get worse? We're talking about, you know, real estate sector having some woes. We're talking about GST compliance not uh, uh, being so bad for the real estate sector in the sense that the unorganized to organized shift hasn't happened as, as much as people like it liked it to be. What is your view? Uh, you see, people sitting from outside really cannot understand what is really the difference between reality and uh, a plywood uh, sector. Plywood sector is actually mostly unorganized and it is has been actually playing very low across all these uh, years and years and decades actually. So actually people did not consider plywood even an industry. So from being a no industry and after that you have got the GST change, but we expect, as an Indians, we expect that everything will happen too fast. But this is India, we know that every change to take place will take years. So people expected that this transformation from unorganized to organized may happen within say a year or six months or maybe 15 months, no. From the very beginning my point has been that it will take three to four years and people in the meantime will try to find out many other ways, new ways because our minds are very fertile. <laughs> they will find out newer ways to actually uh, dodge the tax and the government will now try to find out newer ways to block them. This government is quite active, reactive also. Whenever they find a new way of closing the test, they are doing something. So that's a great thing. And uh, I believe that with this new uh, RFID thing also, they are going to block transportation of all the goods without e bill So that's one side of it. And the other side is actually as far as reality is concerned, there is too much stock lying to be sold. And our game starts when a flat or a residence or an office is sold to a person and now he want, he decides to live into it. And then he starts the internet decoration. So for us actually there is a lot of opportunity lying in front of us. And as and when the market improves a little bit, it's going to be very good for us. So we did not actually look at more new construction. And the, there is another point also, the third point you see. Why do we look at only mm, a new construction or people moving into the mm, new homes or something? Our share as a whole, if you look at the total industry of 25,000 crores is very, very small, 6%. So from 6% to go to 8% is not a big deal in these times. And right. we have learned so many things nowadays and we are really changing the game in the market now. And you will see next one or two years, it's really going to be a different ball game. Okay. But yes, I understand. People from outside can't see these things, so it's okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Mr. Agarwal, you've given us a complete background. Uh, you are sounding positive with a three to four year time horizon. Let's get numbers, sir. And if you can tell us very, very crisply, what kind of volume numbers can we look at for this year? And particularly for uh, the second half uh, of the year with regard to your individual segments, if you could break it up for us. Yes. In plywood segment last year, we had about, I think, 6% growth or so, and we had predicted that we will be in double digit, which we have been able to achieve in the H1. Right. And even we expect that to happen in H2 also. So double digit may be now 10%, 11%, 12%, 13%. We are really working hard to get a 12, 12 or 13, but it all depends because it, election lying in front of us and every day the cash flow situation of the markets or the minds of the dealers, everything is changing. As far as laminate is concerned, yes, the, we are fighting with the profits, not with the volume so much. Uh, because of the crude prices going up, the phenol prices going up, uh, the cost of per seat has gone up by 65-75 rupees. So we are probably the only one in the country who have been able to pass on the cost from uh, by the end of H1. So our profits will come back now. Uh, of course, the volumes may take a little bit of a hit, but we are more bottom line uh, focused company. Mr. Agarwal, uh, 
Okay. Join us in the celebrations. Sure, Agarwal, we'd like to, you to join us in the celebrations. Yes, you do sell plywoods, but nerves of steel shown Ooh. by the boys. Unbelievable. 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 Let's just that, say that. Okay, that's there that's you have it. India has created history. And the way we came back in this match Absolutely. was fantastic. From being 40 for 4 to come back and win the test by 30 runs. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. the party that's, is on. That's 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 part, the party is well and truly on. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, you've, okay. uh, you, 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 you've joined okay. us at a good time now. So. 40 for 4 was what India was at the start of the series. The first session itself was too too bad actually and now we've gone ahead and won it. Can we expect the same for your industry as well <laughs> now? <laughs> let's, let's pose that question to you. Yes, I can tell you that this is going to happen. I know the internal story. We are also evolving, you see. We are from a small town and we started this uh, company. But nowadays we are learning so many things and applying them. Our uh, industry is also not very evolved. So we have an advantage. We don't have many competitions and our competitor, the smaller ones are not in a position to right. really fight with us. So I can really see that yes, the same story which the cricket and beer you were talking about earlier which has happened in Australia will certainly happen here also. Second half of the year margins will improve. Margins will improve because we have been able to pass on all the costs actually, all the costs increase rather, rather if the uh, crude prices remain low, we will be gainer because we have passed on all the costs and if the my costs go down, we have still further profits to come. How yes, much absolutely. How much will your, Mr. Agarwal, how much will your margins improve by? 100 basis points, 200 basis points, 300 basis uh, points? See, we, we usually look into that we will be, you know, always good or bad because the markets, we are into a commodity thing, it's not really an FMCG. Okay. So, we really move between 14.5 to 16.5 EBITDA. So, if a good year, good time, 16.5, a bad time, you will find us around 14, 14.5. Okay. Right. Uh, thanks a lot, sir, for joining in and uh, thank you for joining in at a time where it's we are very really excited. So, yes, celebration thank time. You. So, we will yeah. definitely yeah. look at the yeah. second yeah. half volumes yeah. and margins <laughs> as well. What we do is we slip into a short break.